am convinced there is no better feeling than getting organized. In today's vlog, we are going to be getting our lives together and getting organized for the new fall season. We are going to cover work, personal life, and personal finances, and I cannot wait. Let's get into it. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's 6.30 a.m. I just woke up and I'm just kind of like scrambling to get ready, but I really wanted to just kick off this vlog because we're about to head out. We're gonna go to a spin class. I'm gonna rinse this peach. And I'm gonna eat it on the road. And I'm gonna make a protein shake for after. So welcome back to another getting organized vlog. I am so excited because I really need to get organized. I know that these are some of your favorite vlogs and they're honestly some of mine too. I feel like I say that about every type of video, but I mean it, <laughs> I mean it, they're all my favorite. So yeah, we're basically just going to be like getting organized, getting our shit together, together for fall. I really truly feel like fall is here, like especially this morning, it is so dark outside. And last night it started getting dark around like 7.30, 8 o'clock and I was like, mm, okay, like we are here, fall is here and it's time to, it's time to get organized. So I have an extravaganza of a day plan and basically my goal for today is to get organized across many different areas of life. So we are going to be working on work, we're gonna be working on personal, and of course we're gonna be working on personal finances. So those are the three areas that I really wanna to touch today to just feel like I'm like accomplished something and I'm ready to move into the new season. A lot of these things are gonna be just kind of in line with my monthly reset and the goals that I set during that video. So check that out maybe after. If you haven't already, I'll link it down below. So this morning we are going to a spin class. Then I'm gonna go work from a coffee shop and finish a work task that is like ready to be wrapped up and I'm so excited. Then we're gonna go get our nails done and then I'll leave the rest of the day as a surprise. Actually, I'll give a little hint. I wanna thank Simons for sponsoring this video. So we're gonna be going and picking out like the perfect fall outfit, but I won't say any more than that. All right, so it is time to go. Let's go start our morning. was so good you guys it felt so refreshing i was a little bit tired so it wasn't like my best performance but no matter what i'm always glad i go even if i go and i like barely push i'm just glad that i showed up and i feel proud of myself at the end and that is seriously the best feeling i just feel like starting your day with a workout class is like such a big green check mark it's my favorite feeling and look, I love bar, I love bar so much, but a morning spin class just hits so different. It literally puts you in the best mood for the rest of the day, like gets your heart rate up, like, oh, it's so good. So I'm so happy I went. The sounds of the city are in full force this morning. I am like in prime downtown Montreal. Anyways, I'm really excited because I'm about to go work from a coffee shop for a little bit, which is something that I don't do very often. I'm also really excited for what I'm about to go work on. You guys know I work as a freelance copywriter and I have been working on what is in this envelope for months. It is a huge and very important document for my client. I'm so proud of myself for all of the work that I've put into it and for how far it's come along and we're almost done. Technically what's in this envelope is ready, but I really wanted to try something. I had read like a blog post about writing and it suggested like printing out your stuff and actually doing a physical edit which is something that you know in like this day and age we rarely do but when you're working on something whatever it is whether it's writing or a powerpoint or anything that you're closely 
tied to, it's really easy to overlook mistakes because you've been working on this thing, you're so closely tied to it, and you've been looking at it, like in my case, for months and months and months. It could be weeks, could be days, whatever it is. So printing it out basically gives you like a fresh set of eyes on your own work. So I've got it printed out here. It's like 64 pages, and I have a highlighter, I have a pink pen, and I'm gonna go sit in the coffee shop and like literally edit this thing old school style, and I'm so excited. <laughs> It makes me feel like I'm back in school, like the cafe and like the physical uh, work. So yeah, sometimes when you have a task, like this could feel really daunting. Like you guys know I'm a bit of a perfectionist, but I think like sometimes when you have something that like you're dreading or that makes you nervous, making it exciting, like go to the coffee shop or get yourself a coffee if you're working from home or at the office, like do something to make it a little bit extra special to be that motivator. And I think it's gonna help. So I have a two hour window. It's currently 8.30 in the morning. I have a two hour window to do this and then get my nails done. Well, two hours until my nail appointment. I'm just so excited. So we're getting our shit together, it feels so good. Let's go edit this baby. were successful I am obsessed trying to decide if I would call these like pumpkin cream coffee nails because they're like a little bit orange or if I would call them naked nails because they're almost like skin tone <laughs> did I just call myself orange crossing the street I'm getting a bit of an energy crash I know it's because I'm hungry so I'm walking home gonna eat lunch at home to save a little bit of money that was one of my fall goals is to like eat more at home so that's what I'm gonna go do and then we are going to get on with this day I already feel like I've been awake for so long and that I've done so much but we got more to do so anyways we're gonna go make some eggs for lunch I'm so hungry also I just wanted to say um, it was so fun working at the cafe and like the music they were playing the fall vibes like the fact that I'm wearing this puffer vest I felt like I was back in university I felt like I was like editing one of my like papers for university it felt so good I was like <laughs> I was like cosplaying or whatever but I was kind of delusional I don't know why I thought that in two hours I'd get the whole thing done I got about halfway so I really need to find another two hours maybe this afternoon or tonight uh, to finish it because we got to move, we got to finish that thing. So anyways, I'm just feeling so chatty. Let's go home. much butter in the pan for the eggs. That's okay. We're gonna be tasty. There's something happening in Vancouver that we cannot go on. Show the TV how my, my, my hair's good. Show the TV. Okay. Look. Yeah, it looks great. Thanks, Zeus. <laughs> <laughs> What a journey to get to the mall, you guys. So I am here at Fairview Point Claire in the West Island of Montreal. I came here because I wanted to go to Simon's. They are sponsoring this video. But on my way over here, there was so much traffic. Normally it's like a 25 minute drive to come here and that probably took me close to an hour. There was so much traffic and I was like feeling so negative. I was like, maybe I should just turn around. I'll try again tomorrow. And I was like, no, just keep going. I got to a point, like, I guess all of the traffic was for this one exit. 
I don't even think it was the airport, but anyway, this one exit. And when I finally passed it, I got to like step on the gas and just like fly because all of the cars were literally going to that one exit. So I was like free. And I was like, you know what? Okay, I'm in such my like toxic productive. <laughs> toxic positivity era because i am just looking for the bright side and everything but i was like you know what the bright side of traffic is like you're sitting there you feel like you're stuck it's so frustrating but then that breakthrough feeling of like when you finally get to hit the gas and go fast is so it's such a good feeling that i'm like maybe the traffic was worth it and maybe that is a lesson for life so i don't know i just had to share that with you guys the other thing is i'm feeling so exhausted i feel like i'm purely running on adrenaline i don't think i mentioned it in this vlog but i think one of the reasons i feel so badly like i need to get organized and just get my shit together is because we have js and i have been traveling a lot like the past three weekends we've been granby granby and then niagara falls and then in the middle of last week i did a day trip to ottawa like i've just been so go 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 and i feel like i haven't just like been home and been in my routine and i'm so looking forward to like this weekend where we really barely have any plans i just want to like clean the house i want to like clean out the storage locker and just be home which is such a good feeling but i definitely am feeling like the physical exhaust ex i can't even talk i'm feeling the physical exhaustion of all of those road trips and like this weekend driving to niagara seven hours was really intense like we drove in on friday and then drove back on sunday so anyways the reason i'm at the mall is because i wanted to come here and pick out the perfect fall outfit for back to productivity and for back to work simon's so generously invited me to come in and pick out a few things and share them with you guys so i am so excited you guys know how i feel about clothes and i just feel like the perfect outfit can make you feel so confident so ready for the day ready to take on whatever life throws at you especially if you work in an office like fall fashion is where it's at even if on campus too like literally anywhere fall fashion is just the best so i'm so excited to see what they have in store at simon's simon's is a quebecois brand that is very close to my heart i have told this story before but my first job when i moved to montreal was at the simon's downtown we are at the one in point claire like i said but this store just has such a special place in my heart. I loved working there so much. It's where I really solidified my French was working there. And they just have the best, most beautiful clothes. It's basically a department store. So there is really something for everyone. There is something for every budget. And we're going to go see what they have in store. I am so excited. I obviously browsed online before I came. So I have a bit of an idea of what I want to get. Um, but we're just going to shop together. And it's going to be so fun. So thank you so much to Simons for inviting me me and for sponsoring this video what a dream come true we're gonna grab a coffee because i need it and let's hit them all hey darling can i tell you what's been on my mind sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light hey darling we could get out of town See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the other This, I almost didn't because it's like outside of my comfort zone so cute i feel like with a little gray skirt it would just be so 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 cute it's so like structured this is 60 dollars, so this is a maybe these are so nice and so comfortable i just would need to get them hemmed which they actually offer here i'm gonna try one size up because they're a little tight in the waist but the legs they're so soft and comfy if you guys work in an office you need these pants they're 90 dollars, but i feel like for an office kind of staple it's worth it <gasps> I love them. They literally feel like sweatpants, but they're office pants. It's so cool. Okay, if this isn't the perfect turtleneck sweater, then I don't know. This is a small, it fits perfectly with the pants. It's so good. This is the same, this white one. And I love it Like for the price, the quality. Oh my God. This is the white. I'm actually less in love with it. And maybe it's with the pants. Maybe it's just because the black was so good. It's still really good, but 
I don't know, it's actually growing on me <laughs> the more I look at it, but the black was really good. So we'll see if I get this one. This is round two. And this, the sales associate just gave me this dress. She was like, try it on. It's insane. Like, it's so snug. It's literally insane. But I'm like, where am I gonna wear this to? <laughs> like, I don't leave my house, but it's really nice. This skirt is so good. It's so good. It's like a really thick knit, but then you have this nice slit here. I don't know if the slit would make it not off as appropriate. I feel like depending on where you work, you could get away with it. I am in love. Also just like for fall dinners, it's so, so, so nice. And this top, it's like a basic white long sleeve, but it has this like pulling here, super beautiful. So this outfit is a definite maybe, not with the shoes obviously, but really good. Okay, we are back in the car. That was so much fun. <laughs> Nothing like good old retail therapy to energize me and lift my spirits. Also, the sales associate was such an angel. She was so fun and she was so kind. She was like hyping me up. She was bringing me other stuff to try on. She brought me a $850, what was the brand, Theory? I think it was theory dress that was like insane and i was like this is beautiful but like i have nowhere to wear this and she was like but it looks so good and i was like i know and anyway she was so nice i'm so happy with everything that i picked out i am so grateful you guys to simon's for the opportunity to work together let me show you quickly what i got what i chose my final choices there were so many beautiful things, but I told myself like only get what you love. Um, and the thing I wanted to focus on was like knits, fall of course, and just a little bit more elevated, like more office wear. Even though I don't work in a corporate office, something I wanna work on for the fall is just dressing up a little bit more. I feel like last year when the weather got cold, I just instantly reverted to sweatpants every single day. And as much as I love sweatpants, I feel like it's just nice a couple times a week to dress up, just do it for yourself. So these pieces are gonna help with that. So I did get the gray trousers. I ended up sizing up to a 28. I'm gonna need to get them hemmed, which they do for free at Simon's if you spend um, over a certain amount, but I'm gonna do them at the downtown location so that it's easier for me to go pick up. So these trousers, obsessed like literally they're like sweatpants but they look super polished love them i ended up getting the gray vest i feel like i could do a monochromatic like gray on gray or i could wear this with jeans black pants literally anything a little skirt it was just too cute to pass up i got the midi knit skirt this was so good and i just feel like for dinner times or like family functions even at christmas this is gonna be really nice and it's a little bit out of my comfort zone, which is good, I think. And I, oh, I really wanna wear this with like taller boots. It's gonna be so good. I got the drapey long sleeve top. This was, this for me was a little bit pricey for a white t-shirt because you guys know I spill on everything, but it was too beautiful to pass up. So I got this. And lastly, I got this black uh, the black turtleneck sweater it was so perfect this was like my coup de coeur as they say in french like my heart's choice so really love all of these i think they're gonna work together super well like these together with some black boots are gonna be so perfect i actually have a dinner this weekend so i'm gonna wear that skirt for that I grabbed my coffee at the end and it's like four o'clock now so I'm probably gonna have a hard time sleeping tonight but it was just like I was filming and I was trying stuff on and I was grabbing all these clothes so I couldn't have the coffee in my hand but it's gonna be my nice little companion for the drive home. Anyways, before I hit the road, I really just once again wanted to thank Simons for sponsoring this video, for working with me. I do not say this lightly when I say it's a dream come true and I also wanna thank all of you guys who watch my videos and make it possible for me to work with brands like Simon's. And literally, like I know this is a dream come true for me to be able to go shopping on a Tuesday afternoon and call it work. I am so incredibly grateful and I, it's just not something I take for granted. And so I think it's really important that I just express my gratitude and share my gratitude with you guys because like, yes, I work hard. Yes, I spend so much time editing videos and stuff. But at the end of the day, if you guys weren't watching and supporting and cheering me on, I wouldn't be where I am and I wouldn't be able to do these really cool collabs with brands like Simon's that 
I mean, have touched my life for many, many years and that I'm so thrilled to be sharing with you and recommending to you. So you guys have my stamp of approval on all of these clothes. Simon's is available online or of course in stores across Canada. And if you wanna have an afternoon like me, you can come here to Fairview Point Claire. Honestly, it was a premium experience. The sales associates were such angels. Oh, love it. So it's hot, I'm gonna drive home. Oh, the last thing I wanted to say is I definitely need to get my personal finances together. My plan was to do it this afternoon so that we did a whole doing it all in one day. But honestly, you guys, I am too tired. So <laughs> we're gonna do it tomorrow instead. So we're just gonna have a cozy night in. This is what we're making for dinner. I stopped at the grocery store and got, we had already these ingredients. We got these, uh, these eggplants, I mean. We got these eggplants in Niagara, so they're like, super farm fresh and then i got whatever was missing so it should be really good a nice like cozy meal i don't know if you can hear in the background but i'm pouring myself a bath so that because i can't talk i'm so tired the lasagna takes like way more than an hour to bake and these eggplants have to bake for an hour uh before we can even start anything else so i'm gonna take advantage and go relax for a bit because i have a ton of computer work that I think I'm gonna spend at least part of the evening doing tonight. So I'm like gonna take a break, <laughs> chill for a bit, eat, relax, and then get back to work. because you guys know me i feel like i do not have my shit together unless i am thinking about my finances in a good way taking care of my budget taking care of my cash envelopes so we are about halfway through the month and this means that this is a perfect opportunity to do a little mid-month check-in i took like a month off from filming these and this time i decided to just integrate it into this vlog because it is so like in line with getting our lives together so first and foremost we are going to open up the cash envelopes i'm going to take out all of the receipts and input them into my budget tracker that is the first step i thought you guys would enjoy seeing it in this vlog plus just like being fully real i really need to do this <laughs> <laughs> when I don't do a mid-month check-in, I definitely see the difference in like my spending habits and also just like my financial anxiety. Oh, plus we have the coffee that I just bought. So I'm gonna go through all of this and then we will chat. Also, I caved and got another coffee. I have just been so exhausted this week and I was like, you know what? I need it. And I, I never wanna be that girl who like relies on coffee to get me through life and to like help me function but I am that girl this week. I'm that girl.
Okay, so let's get into this chat. Actually, before we do, I just want to give you guys like a quick little life update because you guys know like it's super important for me to always be real with you guys. So I started filming this video on Tuesday and now it's Thursday. Basically, I had to take yesterday off from filming. Tuesday night, I told you guys like I was so tired and yesterday I just had this day of like feeling so unproductive, unmotivated, like I hate that feeling, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I have one of those days like once a week and I have lovingly named it my Tuesday curse because usually usually that day happens to me on Tuesday. I like fought through it by just like leaving the house all day literally with you guys um, on Tuesday and then I think it just caught up to me on Wednesday. It's just like this day of pure exhaustion. So no, like I'm not this perfect getting my shit together person all the time. I feel like you guys know that about me by now, but I just wanted to mention it too. Like yesterday, couldn't do it. This morning I woke up and was like, oh my God, like I'm still so tired. Also because I have the fitness tracker now, like it tells me how well or how poorly I slept and I've been sleeping poorly for like a week at this point. So I just wanted to like lie in bed and like I did sleep in a little bit this morning, but I wanted to like, again, take the day off. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, JS, please take the day off, stay home with me. And he was like, no, I can't. Um, but he was like, go for a walk. You'll feel so much better. And like, just start with your stuff. And I'm so glad I did. I'm just like forcing myself through it. We've got the coffee, like I said, but sometimes motivation just doesn't come from within and you really have to push yourself to get your shit together. So that's what's up today. Anyways, the good news is in terms of finances, I have been feeling so good about money. Maybe it's because I increased my budget a little bit for my cash spending uh, for September. Maybe it's just the cooler weather and it's the back to productivity vibes. I, I don't know exactly what it is, but I feel like I have re-fallen in love with my cash envelopes and just carrying them with me everywhere and just feeling so like inspired and motivated to stick to my budget, which is an amazing feeling. I feel like I really did set myself up for success by increasing my budget and that has made me feel empowered. I think when I started budgeting and like this is a very probably common thought is that spending less or like spending nothing equals good and spending equals bad <laughs> right like i would think like oh i spent so much money therefore i had a bad month but we're gonna look at my spending i'm gonna like live react to it because i haven't looked at the totals yet but i haven't not spent any money this month i've just completely stuck to my budget because i made my budget realistic and that's what feels so good not sitting at home being so frugal and like never buying anything i mean we literally went on a shopping spree yesterday so not yesterday the day before Anyways, I have inputted all of my expenses and now I'm looking at my budget tracker. I will put a screenshot up here on the screen so you guys can follow along with me. Let's take a look category by category. So groceries, I budgeted $450 and I have only spent $101. This is crazy, but I also think it's because the past two weekends I haven't been home. So it's been eating out a little bit more, which was not in line with one of my goals, but it's the way it is. So I still have $350 left for the month. For groceries if i spend that that's crazy i haven't spent anything for home but i am i really want to do like a home sense run and like make a little either a vlog or like a mini vlog for instagram about that so at least you know i have like a 50 dollars budget that's what i want to do i want to film a little video of like come fall shopping with me for the home like 50 dollars budget for treat yourself <laughs> We're gonna skip over this category because I wanna talk more about it in detail, but I did have a really big purchase. It was something that I'd been wishing for for a couple of weeks and I actually had I paid for it in cash. Like I will talk about that in the monthly money. So stay tuned. For Maggie, uh, I've already spent $100. I budgeted 250. This was one of the categories that I dramatically increased and I'm so glad I did because I don't feel guilty for spending $100. The reason I spent $100 is because she went to the dog sitter for the weekend when we were in Niagara. So it's just so nice having like a more realistic budget. I also wanna say so many of you guys chimed in when I asked how much you spend on your pets and it really made me feel so much better. I had this idea in my head that people spend like 50 bucks a month on their pets and no one spends 50 bucks a month on their pets. Like no one, you guys are all like up there with me in 
you know, spending a lot more, buying the good food, dog sitters, training, whatever it may be. So that's just the reality. And I wanna thank you guys for sharing your experiences with me. For coffee, I've spent $12.29 out of a $50 budget. This is actually cheating because I found, so who remembers the days of me using a prepaid credit card? I used to use Coho and I opened the app for the first time in months and I had $40 on there. So I bought two coffees from Starbucks with my like leftover coho balance so this would go up by probably about like 12 dollars but it's like sneaky found money that i'm just keeping and i'm using it for coffee here and there dining out this is quite high i budgeted 200 dollars and i spent 164.89 so this is definitely like not in line with my goals <laughs> i have 35 dollars left but this actually doesn't make sense because i have 50 I have like $100 left in the envelope, so I'm gonna need to dive further into this, but yeah. This is from traveling and like eating out on the road and it was like honestly kind of unavoidable. There was no, there was, there was no eating out on like a weeknight at home. So transportation, I've spent 23 out of the budgeted 50. Personal care, nothing. Gifts, nothing. Skiing. Ugh, that is coming up and I have to buy my ski pads and I really want to take ski lessons this year in total the lessons and the pass will come out to a thousand dollars so I really want to just like put some of that money aside this month and then I will buy my ski pass but I'm dreading it because like that's a lot of money therapy I budgeted nothing and I don't have an appointment scheduled this month Healthcare, same thing gas uh, I did spend hundred dollars and i budgeted a hundred parking nothing workouts nothing car stuff what was that oh oh my gosh i spent almost five hundred dollars on car stuff namely like switching over my license plate doing some insurance stuff um in the long run it's all gonna save me money especially now i have like new insurance that my monthly payments are way lower than before but i did have some upfront costs uh, that i paid for in cash luckily none of that went on my credit card which feels good and then vacation and books nothing so my total spending for the month so far is $1,402. We're halfway through the month. We've got still quite a bit of money left in the categories. The biggest challenge is going to be dining out, I think. Just making sure that I don't do it. <laughs> but I cannot tell you guys how good it feels to just not have that anxiety. So I am so happy. I really feel like this was the perfect way to wrap up my couple days of getting my shit together. And the fun is not over yet because I have so much work to do, but that's just like me sitting at the computer. So it's not really fun to film. I used to film myself working all the time. I feel like all of my vlogs were work vlogs. And then I literally just got bored of watching myself work and hearing myself talk about work. And you guys know, like I had kind of been on a journey of like being less obsessed with being productive. Like I love being productive but it wasn't helpful it wasn't healthy for me that all of my videos were about being productive i'd rather make videos like this like getting organized and stuff that's like more light-hearted and not just me sitting at the computer all day anyways let me know what you guys thought of this video i really really hope you enjoyed it i had so much fun spending the past few days with you guys getting our shit together together and like i said there's so much more work to do so let me know in the comments if you guys want another productive vlog i have to spend a day doing all the things that i've been avoiding yes we are there again so let me know if i should film it and i will do that thank you so much again to simons for sponsoring this video what a dream and thank you to all of you for watching i will stop talking now i love you so much bye